Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and these are baby box turtles. Alright guys, today we're going to be hanging out with these little guys. This is a baby box turtle. Look at him. This is the cutest little thing I have ever seen. Alright, so we've got a total of six baby box turtles right now. And we've got three of them that are this, you know, this goldish tan color. And then we've got three of them that are this darker, this darker black color. And they're, they're kind of heading this way, it's kind of funny. I can't get them to face the camera because for some reason they just want to go that way. And these guys walk around all day and when you look at them it seems like they're just wandering around. But they have to have some kind of instinct to go a certain direction and just keep walking. That's all these guys do all day is walk and look for food. Now these little baby box turtles, their diet is mainly going to consist of little insects, little bugs, little worms, and anything that they can find really. And they also eat fruits and different kinds of grasses. They eat lots of little stuff, little tiny stuff. But most of their diet at this age consists of bugs. Now you can see that right now they all have kind of similar coloration, but as they grow up, they're actually all going to have completely different patterns. I've never seen another box turtle that looks like one another. All box turtles, as they grow, look completely different and they gain their own colors and their own patterns. Oh, where are you going, buddy? He's booking it. Why are you like heading off in that direction? What's over there? What's over there, bud? Is there food? Oh, he's booking it. He's a fast turtle. He's a fast little turtle. You're gonna, you're gonna get off the mat if you go that way. You're gonna be in leaves and stuff. Where are you going? You're going in circles. You're going in circles, buddy. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> he's cute. You can see this short little tail he's got. It's very cute. And you can see these front feet. Let me turn him towards you. These little front feet are great at digging. You can see these claws and stuff. But what's amazing is that they'll actually pull apart their food using their claws. They'll actually grab it and rip a piece off with their front feet if it's something tough. Even fruits, they'll actually rip pieces of the fruit off if it's too tough for them to eat. I love their little beak, and they don't have teeth. That's something interesting about these turtles. They only have a beak. They have a sharp beak for biting into stuff. They don't have any teeth, and they don't chew it up a lot. They just bite a piece off. And another neat thing, if I compare these two, this is the darker one, and this is the lighter one. The darker ones actually have a yellow belly. And that's interesting. That's another thing that's completely different about these two box turtles. This one has more of a tan belly, and this one has more of a yellow belly. Now, this little guy was born with an underbite, and while really that's not a good thing at all, it's great that he was born in captivity, because he'll be able to live his whole life. He's eating, he's drinking, and he's acting just like he would as a normal turtle. And oftentimes in the wild, when they're born with a disability or something like this, it can oftentimes lead to their death, because they can't get food, or they just don't do as well as other turtles. But he's gonna live a full life just like the rest of these turtles and he's doing very well in captivity. He's eating, he's drinking, and he's behaving just like a normal turtle would. With something that you can see on the turtles, their feet kinda look like an elephant's foot. They have all these big scales that cover their feet and protect their feet because that's some of the only exposed parts of their body. Their shell protects their whole body, it protects all their organs and anything inside them. But all their little arms and even their head, their head's protected by a big hard skull with some plates on it. And their feet are protected by all these little scales. Ooh, he's pulling forward. He's strong. Strong little turtle. Now, these things are called box turtles because as an adult, they actually have something called a hinged shell. And babies, when they're born, they don't have this. They still have to develop it. But their shell will hinge upwards and they can tuck fully into their shell like a box and you cannot get them out if they close up fully nothing can get them out they are completely protected but as babies they can't even do that yet so that's another defense that little babies don't have look at those eyes and they have a very very long neck they can reach out and grab things they can reach up for food like plants and stuff and it's very cool to see their neck come out look at that big long neck 
big stretchy neck. Today we have had an awesome time hanging out with these little box turtles. They're just so cute. And I want to ask you guys, do you have any questions about the channel or anything that we're doing? Because next week we're actually going to be having a Q&A video. It's still going to be a normal animal video. We're going to have some animals that come out for us. But um, we're going to have a little Q&A video. So any questions you have, leave them down in the comment section. I'll definitely be responding to them and answering them in the Q&A video. So ask any question you like about the channel or the animals or anything really if you're curious about any of that and we'll do it next week. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you did enjoy definitely leave a like and I will see you guys next time.